Ready to tap in. You can see a few drops of liquid down there, which is why I need to replace it. Nice looking aluminum radiator. Alright, I'm gonna take off these clips. So we got these and just leave it connected to this. Then there's this little tab. Push forward and up. Okay, and then there's one at the bottom down here as well. And then, almost forgot. Let's see again. Okay. Holding, holding the radiator, we got that bolt there, and then you can see the other one through this hole in there, and just need a long extension to go all the way through. Same on this side. Got the little drain valve there. And then So here's the bottom plate. So you have three bolts in the front to take off that one, that one, that one. And they have these little clips holding on, still draining. And then that one, that one, that one, and that one. So next we're going to take off these bolts and then there's the one further down down there and that'll take the this fan shroud off do all right well, here's the other side so we'll get this bolt and this bolt a little easier to get to than the other side now let's slide back off the radiator now that we got the bolts off the shroud is off the radiator, and we can unbolt this and slide it out. All right, got my ratchet through the hole into that. So I can get that, the bolt that's down there, kind of see. And then we'll get this one up here. And this is kind of what's holding the radiator in place after you take the bolts out. Same on this side, it goes through the hole. And you can see this one better. bolt there and then I took that one out and then the radiator will be ready to slide out once I take the hose off. Take this hose off like so and I'm going to replace both hoses with new gates hose so it doesn't matter. loosen the clamps both up there and this one so it's probably gonna have some Ugh. yuck that and then do a little twisting motion there all right got it off we got both hoses off radiator shroud is off way so pretty much lift up and see this this thing is what's holding it onto the front and we 
we are out. Ooh. All right, here's the two radiators side by side. No plastic in tank on this one. Plastic crappy intake on this one. And the thick, it's definitely a thicker core on this one. It's supposed to be 42 millimeter. I think stock is 30 something. So that should help cooling as well. Now I'll bolt everything back up. Radiators in, bolted up, everything lined up great. Except for these little tab things were kind of strange. So just broke them off and they kind of had to go more sideways than straight. And uh, yeah, that's great. I um, still have the hoses on order, so I won't show you that. And got to clean up some of the corrosion around the inlet and outlet ports. Yeah. Here's the original gates hoses, so the upper and the lower. And then these ones, the uh, 1810 and 1809 are from Australia that are supposed to be OEM replacements, which of course they look the same. And then these gates 22154 and 20294 are what you can find in the US. And this one is pretty close to this and you can just cut that to make fit. And this one you could cut here and it's a similar-ish bend. It's pretty interesting, but I'm not gonna use those since I got the correct ones finally after a month. Um, so the, yeah, that's a worst case scenario. You could get these parts in the US. Got the radiator all in. The new hoses in down there. Just filled her up. It took like two and maybe a third of those full jugs of coolant. Then turn her on, let the bubbles come out, put the cap on, took her out for a spin until you heat it up, get it nice and hot, and make sure the radiator or the heater's on so it can flow through the heater core. And then uh, I'm going to let it sit until it cools down and then pop the cap and fill up the remaining whatever is low. And that's it. All done.